Um, I just watched my last video, and I realized um, I said Godsmack on accident without realizing it. <laughs> like Godsmacking me. <laughs> you know that band, that that heavy metal band, Godsmack. I used to listen to them all the time, you know. <laughs> but, and I always, I, I was always confused. What does Godsmack mean? Where'd they get that title, Godsmack? That makes no sense, Godsmack. Oh, after all these years, now I know what it means. Now I know what Godsmack means. I, I totally know what it means. It pretty much means. God putting you in your place. In any any different way, God putting you in your place. God smack. God smacking you. And sometimes I can feel his smack before I even say something. I can feel God smack before I even say something. Get smacked. Yeah, and I can feel it coming. Yeah. Holy Spirit's like, don't say it. Don't say it. I'm like, I'm saying it. I'm saying it. It kind of hurts, you know. I'm a glutton for pain, but it hurts, you know. What I mean? Yeah. He's like, this hurts me more. It's gonna hurt you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We'll see. I used to do karaoke and sing the Godsmack song called Realign. I might sing that. You know, sometimes I sing all my videos. I might sing that song. I used to do that in karaoke. When I when I used to go to bars. <laughs> when I used to go to bars. <laughs> I sang karaoke. Heavy metal songs, you know what I mean? I was a rock star. I was a rock star in the bars. <laughs> on karaoke night. Yes, indeed. <laughs> in my mind, I was a rock star. <laughs> Like many people that do karaoke in bars, they think they're a rock star. So did I. I was a rock star. I was famous in my mind. Just like when I was growing up as a kid, like I, I pretended I was like in a heavy metal band, you know, singing at the forefront like Metallica singer. You know, that's what I was doing at, at bars. You know, I was being karaoke. So I might sing some of the songs I I sang it in karaoke. I sang, I sang uh, Behind Blue Eyes quite a bit because <laughs> I have blue eyes. <laughs> no one knows what it's like to be the bad guy. <laughs> Behind Blue Eyes. Very relatable. <laughs> if you're a sad one, Behind Blue Eyes. I was a little more sad back then than I am now. I was a little more sad. <laughs> I was. I wasn't Christian then. I wasn't. <laughs> Not at all. No. I was pretty much, back then, when I was uh, hanging out in bars and stuff, I was hanging out with narcissists and stuff. I didn't know what they were, you know what I mean? I figured it out, but I didn't realize I was hanging out with people just like my family. You know, narcissists in a different setting. <laughs> Instead of religious narcissists, my family, I was, I was hanging out with bar narcissists. I hang out at bars. <laughs> That was my trade-off. I'm like, this feels comfortable. Yeah, now I know why. They're just like my family, but in a different environment. Yeah. Narcissists are in every environment. <laughs> Beware. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. They can walk around in a furry suit. I don't care. <laughs> you, know, you know the furries. To disguise themselves. I don't care anymore. I don't care. I have the boldness of Paul. Right here. I'm right here out in the open. I'm not invisible. Come and get me. Boldness of Paul. That's what God wants. He wants me to be bold all the time. So, without getting smacked in the head. Without getting God smacked every two seconds. For every defiant thing I say about God. 
<coughs> I'm, not, I'm not a fool for you, man. <laughs> There's that part of me that's like, you're not going to change me, Holy Spirit. You're not going to change me. You're not going to change me. I'm going to be a rebel. I'm still going to be a rebel with my leather coat. I'm still going to be a rebel in my own mind. But yeah. That was funny. I watched my last video. And I'm like, I just said God smack. I just said God smack on accident. No accident. Now I know what it means. And now you know what it means. Any, anytime any time God's putting you in your place, that's God's back. That's God's back. I didn't get anybody to take a flyer today. Cool. Fishing for men. Better luck tomorrow. <laughs> Sometimes it works. You know? I don't know if I mentioned that one guy that's like, you want my cigarette? I'm like, no, I don't want your cigarette. <laughs> I'm like, do you, want my, do you want my Jesus pamphlet? He's like, yeah. I'm like, all right. Sorry, I couldn't take your cigarette. <laughs> I quit smoking. It sounds like I still smoke. <laughs> That's the price you pay. <laughs> to your throat. <laughs> Just be grateful I don't have lung cancer. Hopefully I don't. Maybe I will. <laughs> I don't think so. It's been a while since I've smoked. Like 12 years since I've smoked. 13 years since I've smoked. Hopefully my lungs are good. <laughs> have regenerated by then, by now. <laughs> but anyways, not, not about that. It's about God's neck. And I, know, I finally know what it means. Finally. <laughs> After all these years, I know what God's neck means. Yeah. <laughs> and so do you. <laughs> it's God putting us in our place. <laughs> smacking us. Smacking us, you know what I mean? <laughs> putting us in our place. <laughs> I always, I can feel it coming. I test it. I test God. I can feel the God smack coming. I can't. I'm going to get smacked for this one. I'm going to get smacked for this one. It's the, only, it's the only way I'll learn. It's the only way I'll learn, you know, if God keeps smacking me. Maybe, maybe I'll learn. I just thought it was funny. I'm like, I said, I said Godsmack. I mean, I didn't even realize I said Godsmack. <laughs>